What is going on, everyone? Welcome to episode number 21 of the Hardcore Group Iron Man series. In the last one, I got myself to level 70 prayer, and I unlocked piety. For this one, uh, I'm going to be starting off and doing something a little weird. I have 1,600 Rock Rambans in the bank so far from when I'm AFKing. Uh, there's something I have to do, so I am going to head back over to Rambans and do some more AFKing. And by the time I see you guys again, I should have enough to get a pretty decent cooking level. I'm almost done with what I need to do, but this is the first level of the video, level 77 fishing. All right, so I am up to 3,400 Kwambons. It's like probably 600k cooking XP. I'm assuming I'm going to burn a good amount of these. I was planning to go and cook these after I finished, but I think it'll be nice to let them stack up over time, maybe until I have like 10k and then I'll go and cook all of them. If you guys remember from the last video, I am currently on a Dust Devil task, so I need to go buy some more Death Runes for that and that's gonna be the next thing I'm doing. Well, that was fast. I am like five kills in and I already got my first superior. And there's a superior dead and we get a Dark Totem middle. And here is the first layer level of the video that is level 72. Also really quickly, if you do end up enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe to help me reach my goal of 100K by the end of the year. This is actually kind of crazy timing. That is level 80 hit points. And also, 79 magic. I I've never had something like that happen to me before where things time out like that. There's the end of the task. 40,000 more Slayer XP gained, and also 100k magic XP. And that is 76 defense. Level 78 attack, as you guys know, um, I mention it all the time. I love getting this task because my seeds are really low right now, and this task always gives me a ton of seeds for runs. Spory KC number 6, I almost broke my PB. I was 3 seconds off of it. And from this one, I get 2 Chrono Seeds and 3 Mahogany Seeds. So, I am going to be taking a a little bit of a break from doing Slayer. There's really no reason for it. I just want to gain some more levels and other skills. As you see in my inventory, I have 31,400 headless arrows. That is also the amount of broad arrows that I need to make to get myself to 70 fletching. And I decided while I'm making these, the best thing for me to do would be to run agility laps. Ended up costing me 1.6 mil for all of these. It's not too bad. I still have 1.5 mil left over. So as it turns out, Alkin was doing agility as well. So I decided to hop to his world, but I'm going to be starting out here at level 67 agility and also 64 fletching. There's the First fletching level, level 65. Still going pretty good. There is level 68 fletching. I also decided to bring all my marks in my inventory. I'm up to 144 and I need 260 for full graceful. So I'm still ways away from that. Since I'm only doing 70 here right now, I'm definitely not going to be getting full graceful on this grind. But I'm also really close to the next agility level as well. I'm only 33 XP away from this level and I don't know off the top of my head how much XP I get from each of these. So it could be on this one. All right, kid, it has to be on this one because I only need 13 more XP. Uh, also, I have 35 XP until... Oh my gosh, I failed the course. Are you kidding? Okay, so I lied. I guess I'm getting it off starting the course again. There is a 70 agility, and I also saved my fletching so I could get level 70 fletching at the same time. So there is both 70s. With both of these done, I want to go and start using up some of my teaks and do some construction. I believe I have two more days of kingdom that I can go check, so I'm going to go do that now, and I'll show you guys how many teaks I have. All right, let's collect these resources. 900 more teaks. I guess it's been three days. I thought it was only two. Uh, 2,072 teaks, which is enough to get me, like, 2k away from 73. Um, actually, let me see here. I have some, I have some teak planks. This could be enough to push me to 73. It's going to be really close, but I'm going to go make all these into planks. I've shown you guys how I do that before. It's really simple, and it's really fast, so it'll only take like 20 minutes. And that is all 2,100 teak planks made. I am down to 986k left. I wanted to make sure I still had enough to buy Death and Chaos runes. Uh, when I go back to Slayer, if I get another Dust Devil task. I ended up having to sell almost all of the blood runes that I got from Slayer. It was about 3,600 I think I sold, and I saved 400 just in case I need them. Uh, and I got some more GP from that. So this is what I'm working with now. I'm going to go back to doing some Mahogany Homes now. I am currently at level 64 construction. I haven't done many Mahogany Homes. The only ones I've done really was on my Ultimate Iron Man for like four or five days before this mode came out. I thought that the Plank Sack here was 500 reward points, but it's 350. And this lets you put 28 planks in it. So my XP rates are going to be a lot higher using this now. Hello again, guys. So once I step off of this dialogue... 69 construction, but the more important thing here, if you guys look at my total level, 1700 total level, and I still have four more levels to go with the construction. Uh, another nice milestone to get with 1700, though. When it comes to 1800, um, that's kind of a different story. That's going to take quite a while to get to. Also, in the top left here, I put up an XP counter getting about 160k per hour. 
and level 70 construction. And with that level, I only have four more stats to go until I am 70 plus in all of them. I don't know how long it's been since I've shown you guys a farming level. Uh, like I said before, I'm not really doing too much farming unless it's from contracts. It's the only time I get really big XP drops. And I had a magic tree contract, so that's the one that got me this next level. Also got my new PB from doing a spory, 1 minute and 17 seconds. I'm hoping to get that under a minute, of course, when my gear gets a little bit better. And from this one, we got two chrono seeds and three willow seeds. And there is the end of the construction grind, 73 construction and almost 600,000 XP gained. So every single day of Kingdom is going to give me near a construction level. By the time I finish doing 80 Slayer, I'll probably have somewhere near 80 construction banked and I'll have enough money from Gargoyle Test to come back and do this too. Um, 80 is really nice because then I'll be able to have a fairy ring in my house and that'll be really good for catching Karam ones. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be heading back to doing Slayer. I actually can't remember if I have a task kit or not. It looks like I do. I don't know what it is. It is Fire Giants. Level 73 Slayer. Only two levels left to go now until I unlock Gargoyles. And 77 Strength. Got my first Kuras task here. And since the Leaf Bladed Sword is really the only thing I can use right now since I don't have a Battle Axe, I'll be able to train just my Strength instead of training it on Controlled with a Whip like I have been well speaking of leaf bladed battle axe there it is that is the first one on any of our accounts i believe the drop rate on this is around one in one thousand two so it's not that common at all i'm also going to be using this over the leaf bladed sword because the dps is really really good on it you can hit some really high numbers with it nice another dust devil task 248 of these that is almost the max amount that you can be assigned at once 81 hit points i'm also getting really close to another magic level and per usual on these tasks i decided to throw my xp rates on the side so you guys can follow them. And there is also the level 80 magic about 20 or so kills later. As you guys can tell from my fight duration, it's nowhere near my personal best and these fights are very inconsistent, but that is the 8th kill for 2 chrono seeds and a papaya seed. 77 defense and I'm also only 2800 XP away from getting to 74 slayer. Level 74 slayer, 1 level left to go until I unlock gargoyles. I just got a black demon task and I've put this up way too long. I don't have any blocks yet so i'll be using this as my first block slot i also want to block hellhounds and fire giants i'm only at 261 points now though so i'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer to get those on there and here is another week of tears of gothics i got 114 tiers this time and i got 6840 xp uh, unfortunately, I'm 312 XP off of getting to 43. Okay, so I was way too close to this level to just let it sit there, I'm not gonna lie. So I went and did two runs of Fire Rune so I could get to 43. It's the first Kuresk Superior that I've gotten. Uh, every time I get these, it's kind of crazy, just like the scale of them. Like, look how big this is. 2700 Slayer XP from this one, that's uh, pretty good. Sadly, the loot from it really isn't. Got myself another Kuras task, and that is also level 78 strength. There's actually no way I just got another Leaf Blade of Battle Axe. Dude, oh my gosh. Two of these from, I think I've done like 200 something total kills. That's actually crazy RNG. Get some really good superior luck this task. If you look at my chat here, you see this is my third superior this task. There is literally nothing better than seeing this task pop up. Uh, just another usual level here. There is level 79 attack. And there it is, the level that I've been waiting to get since the start of this account. 75, I can now kill gargoyles. I'm really, really hoping I get a lot of these between 75 and 80, because I really need that GP to get my construction to level 80 to make doing Karambons easier with a fairy ring. I have a cow fight task right now with 115 left to go on them. Uh, hopefully, the first task after this is gargoyles. Well, it's not a gargoyle task, but 249 blood builds on this assignment. That is one off the max possible assignment rate, so it's going to be like another three-hour task, but I'll get a ton of xp from it and there is another defense level 78 combat level is also 99.5 really close to 100 and another level 79 strength that puts me up to 99.85 so it's looking like i'll be getting the 100 combat from my next hit points level uh it looks like my tracker says it's going to be another 210 kills and with the bracelets i'm using i'm definitely going to get that from this task wow so i have been paying nearly zero attention to my game i just keep running around and tagging for these blood builds and afk because i'm busy watching the uh, PUBG worlds so i didn't even notice that i got 82 hp already and it got me to pretty much exactly 100 combats i'm still staying really consistent with this karambon fishing that is a level 78 i've done probably around 15 hours or so of passive karambon since the first time i mentioned it 6456 karambons if you account for how many of these i'm gonna burn it's definitely enough to get me from 73 to 80 cooking i'll probably wait till i have maybe like 10,000 of these to start using them 
But um, I'm going to be ending the video here. I'll show you guys the stats on the screen. I'm going to be showing something a little bit different this time too on these stats. Normally, I'm only showing the hardcore group Ironman high scores. But for this one, I'm showing the normal high scores combined with the group Ironman high scores. So this is all of the teams in both categories of uh, four man. As you can see, compared to the other ones, the team TN1K is also competing with us. So I'll probably show this one from now on since the other one doesn't really have as many people competing. In terms of my goals right now, I still wanna try to get that 80 Slayer. And from there, I'm just gonna be waiting for Zulu to get 95 rune crafting for Wrath Runes. So I'll probably just start skill hopping and going for um, maybe like base 70s and then base 80s. So I'm sorry this one took five days to come out I was a little bit busy with something else, but I am back to the game now So hopefully the next one will come out within the next three days per usual uh, Thank you guys as usual for all the support on this. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one